Yo, what is going on guys? God Rectin here today, bringing you a new League of Legends commentary. I also just randomly had a... A lot notification, like someone followed. Well, thanks for following whoever that is. <laughs> I don't see any of my followers right now, because I'm on like a completely different scene. Anyways guys, um, in this game we are playing against a cannon. I am playing on my second alt account, which is basically towards uh, Master Zelo, uh, before I let it decay. So, yeah, I'm playing on a much higher account compared to the last videos, which were, like, in Emerald. I don't think we go for this, I'll be honest. We're at a disadvantage with Rel. Like, if, if I come here, like, with this team comp against this, we just lose. Blitz, Rel CC, like, Quinn, like, it's just so losable. Like, if they can test, it's completely over. Blitz might even just randomly hook here as well. Yeah, so this game, as you can see, is a very, very difficult game. I'm against a Kennen, Quinn, Rel. The CC on their team is basically unimaginable. It's just the thing of nightmares, right? And I'm sure as hell think that they would probably pick uh, Tilia too if they had the chance. Luckily, our bandit in this game. They can't really do anything, though. They should just give that up. But yeah, so this game is going to be a little bit more difficult. I'm playing on the latest patch, so all the runes have changed and everything. I have second wind, I have D-Shield. I have no resistances, so it's going to be very interesting. I am played against a cannon in a while, either. But this is the first cannon i played against in forever. Cannon also got a little bit of a buff, um, this patch as well. Cannon now actually spawns with a mark, so he can instantly walk to land and have his mark up, which can be used to proc his, um, spells on you and stuff, like his, um, stun. So I have to be a little bit careful of that. Level 1 is just about keeping health up, going for like an E-dash trade if we can. Just trying to abuse him there. Get behind minions. So my current setup is that I have moon speed. So I have moon speed, I have um, scaling health and AD. So I think that's like what you want to be running as Renekton. I don't really see the point of going base health. I mean, I, I don't know. I think it's like kind of whatever. Like scaling health is always going to like do a lot better, and for a lot of like Renekton builds too, that go Bruiser, it's definitely pretty good just to take that as well. Up you scale into the game. Okay. Emo's in the top side jungle here. So the thing with Cannon right now is like I'm going to go for EQs and just like kind of reset from from things. Go drop my ward there. I know Teemo's here, but I don't know who's coming top side. Just have a Quinn as well. Pushing the wave in here is pretty horrible. Again, I haven't. The last couple of videos, I played against like Teemo, and now I'm playing against Cannon. These ma these are matchups where like I would abuse like the lane, um, like on my side or like in the middle, and just try to like play freezers and just abuse like my laner that way as well. But being on the new map, it's like a little bit more weird to play it because I haven't fully adjusted yet to all our matchups. Gonna wait here. There's an area too. So, I rate Cannon not the hardest matchup. It wasn't that hard before. A lot of it is just going Merc Treads Rush and you completely dominate. Just like the team on matchup. Except, Cannon is like a lot more, I would say, relevant for the game. But I think he snowballs. I mean, he snowball, snowballs pretty well, I'd say, too. Every time he has Mark, by the way, you see that like little thing he had around him then? That's when we want to just like completely avoid him. We want to use bushes a lot, too. It's pretty painful. I can't really go for a trade here. Like, I kind of despise the new map changes because I feel like I'm left in this position so much lately. Okay, he has stack on me. Every time he has stack, we just want to, like, stay away. Once he has, um, no... Is it his W? Or E? I don't know. I think it's his E. We can usually go for, like, uh, a trade on him, too. But his cooldown's a lot lower than, um, RE. I believe it's, like, 10 seconds. Uh, we can start trying to do a little bit more here. I have Exhaust, by the way. So I took Exhaust because initially I thought it was Quinn top lane. But it turns out it was Cannon. Now, it's not the end of the world here. It's actually kind of fine. Ah, oh, Ghost is so annoying. I think I'm dead here, actually. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, he dies in my minion wave. Yeah, damn it, so unlucky. 
Like, my fury management was bad there. Like, I guess I had to just, like, let the wave crash into my tower, but... Damn, that's so, like, horrible. <laughs> this guy has to take Ghost. Now, in fairness, yes, I do have Exhaust, which can kind of counter that, but... It's just still very annoying, regardless, to have to deal with. <laughs> so let me have a drink as well while I'm recording. Hmm, <sighs> so it's at the end of the world. Basically, the way you win this matchup is you play the lane like here. You go for double latches. If Kenny uses his like E randomly, like he does, we can then like look for a play too. And we could also like time our W on his E as well. So he'll eat up his time in his, his uh, E. And then you can't really do a lot. I don't think we really do anything here. They also have ults. We have to give it. I really don't think we should try. Blitz is top lane too. I have literally like zero prior right now for anything. Everyone is literally top lane and I have the wave bouncing back towards this side. This is like nightmare scenario. Means we'll hit him. Because I have D shield second wind. I can chill. Now... I'm just kind of waiting for Blitz to move. Okay, so he moved to mid. I don't really farm. He still has passive. Okay, he proc'd our minion. This is when we, when we can go for trade. My fury numbers are not really that great. He'll get stun on me here, but it's like whatever. I could have went with going like tenacity. I was really debating it in champ select. Okay, now I'm going to try again. Oh, fuck. That's so annoying. I wanted to build Fury for W, but I kind of greeted. And because I greeted, it just ended up losing my chance of getting a kill. Hmm. He has fun proc here. Okay, he uses it. Hmm. Is he crazy? What is he thinking? Like, there's no way, like, in the world he'll ever get away with that, by the way. Literally never. Because I see everybody on the map at the moment, I'm going to greed for this. I kind of need to greed here in this matchup, otherwise I'm just going to be completely useless. And I want to get, like, as much goals as I can. Okay, crush this too. Yeah, Quinn might be roaming. I might have inted. I probably should die here, but... It looks like Quinn's going to be a little bit late, so it's pretty good for us, actually. Going to go for recall. Cancel my recall, like, three different times. <laughs> I wasn't sure she was going to tower just to go after me, because she's like a psycho, I'm sure. So, I'm actually going to go for Stridebreaker Rush here, because I think if I can get Stridebreaker, it's going to help me out a lot just into this lane. An extra potion, too. I don't want to go refill, because it's a little bit too late. At most, I get refill on my first back, or I get it, like, on the 7 minute mark. And that's the lightest I'll ever get it. Yeah, usually I want to get it on first back, but if I can't do that, it's just, like, whatever. I'm not going to really try to build it later on. Sadly, I have a Teemo. Like, I have no, like, kill pressure with this, like, from my jungle side. I mean, we can do, I guess, but it's just whatever. Like, it doesn't really offer, like, a stun or anything like that. Yes, he offers a blind, but it's kind of whatever. Rage is pretty helpful here. I'm faster than him. Well, I'll go for this now. Hmm, bit tragic. Well, wow, everyone just gets away though. Okay, maybe not. Okay, Teemo, let's go. I think I could apply it a bit differently. The thing is, because I'm, like, lacking AD with this build, it's really hard to go for, like, the all-in there. And obviously, Rel was roaming. So I tried to pace the fight so I didn't just blow everything on trying to reach him and then just being left in a really bad situation. So that's kind of, like, why I was holding my abilities a little bit longer. Okay, if they respect the map here, Quinn can't do anything. Same with us, right? If we can just, like, look at the map and... Be very visual, like where Quinn is at all times. Like we'll have a pretty good chance of being able to to deny her from being useful. So here's where the spike's going to be really big. Now that I can get the pickaxe here, it remains really, really good for us, and our damage will feel like a lot better. 
But so far, I feel like I have no damage, and it's probably because like I'm not going double AD. Because if I go, if I don't go um, movement speed, I get kited. And I think a lot of this meta is going to be people just going moon speed in runes and just carrying you. So I feel like you're at a disadvantage if you don't take that as a rune. So yeah, I'm, I think that's why I'm like feeling like I have less AD. Probably like for that reason. Wait for him to stack here. Trying to build Fury. I'm going to go for an EQW here. So this is how you want to time it, by the way. It's kind of like that, but my combo didn't even have like anything else on the end of it. Hmm. Them. Okay, max Q here now. I'm rolling down. Let's go for flash play here. If I can get my Vladimir fed, it's really big for this game. Can we like? Hey, that's gonna like reset. Like, what is this? It's just the king. Like, what is this? Bro, I don't know, man. I hate these things. Damn, that wasted so much time from me. And now I'm gonna come to lane and Quinn might just come gank me. Or else. Dude, that was so bugs there, though. Like, why is that allowed to be a thing? Okay, I guess we're back again. Kind of sucks because I could have got a plating. In all that time, I could have got a plating and I could have just like push wave and got my item. But now I'm kind of forced to sell my D shield here, which is pretty bad. But it is what it is. We went for grubs. I don't think grubs were even remotely worth that. But it is what it is. Maybe in future, I just ignore grubs there and we go um, top lane. So now I have Stripe Breaker. Stripe Breaker is also going to be coming a Tima item, apparently, as of um, today when I read the news. What the hell is this? What? They're diving me? Or what? What is this exactly? This is so strange, this play. He stuns me here. It's a little bit stupid of me going in. Gonna wait for Quinn just to go back to mid lane before I do anything. Yeah, apparently they're making a Tima item, though, which I kind of recommended in some of my videos. Like, I thought it made a lot of sense to make it a Tima item. So I'm kind of glad they're doing that, but it does also lose access of getting Titanic. So, I'm not sure how I feel about that. It's kind of a nerf, in a way. So, yeah, I, I don't know. Hmm, I think he knows I'm here. Maybe he's, like, clueless. He's so lucky. I can't catch him. I mean, he uses both summoners that to live. And if he stays in the tower, I'll just kill him. Yeah, each time you have, like, Stride Breaker, you just absolutely, like, kill whoever. And in fairness, Stride Breaker's gonna get a lot better, and I kind of like that. So, I'm kind of a fan in that regard. That's gonna have damage on the active. Because even then, in that scenario, I kill him if I have an active. Like, a damage active, that is. Mmm, I don't like that at all. Any bot lane being fed, like, every game that I play. Regardless of accounts. Gonna take this. We're a little bit squishy here. So now you have an option, right? You could go Hex Shrinker, so you like deny cannon damage despite him being behind, or you can just go like I don't know Cleaver here, and I think I'm gonna go Cleaver. Sojin's also also not bad, but again, Sojin is still bugged as I'm making this video, so I don't really feel comfortable wanting to like play it. But at the same time, like the CDR is really nice, and maybe that's what I need to do. Like, what do you guys think about Sojin? Like, I'm in this really weird spot where I'm like, yeah, it's got good stats, but it just doesn't work on W and... I don't know. Well, I'm around here now. Let's take this. We kill Blitzler. Like, everyone's fed apart from my bot lane, which is really good. It's kind of like a godsend, because if bot lane was just like... Actually, they're like, not even doing that bad. Just... Somehow we have a bounty, though. I don't know. <laughs> How does that work? How is Caitlyn getting these kills, then, if they have bounties? What? Is that bugged? I mean, I guess they have farm advantage. It's really weird, though. I need to look at the map here. Hmm. I think maybe we're able to... to do this.
They're all so fast. But to be honest, this moon speed ru like uh, rune is actually kind of coming in clutch though. Like because I have like extra moon speed, I'm able to kite. Not, not get kited though. Does Caitlyn have it? I'm not sure if she does actually. The thing is, if you go moon speed, you're sacrificing AD. And I think for some matchups, you don't really want to do that. Particularly matchups where you want to be spamming Q early. Like I would say, probably, I don't know, Gangplank, maybe Shen, in a way. Can I get this here? Let's see if I can. Oh, they just killed the whole wave. I'll be hooks me. I'll just give him an empowered W. I'm standing around here now. We're looking for a player here. Need to be very careful. We've got Dragon in 20. Kinda sucks that I didn't have Cleaver ready for this slight moment in the fight. Little Fury up for the fight. Gonna walk down now. I'm around here, just finding the angle of which I wanna fight out. Their win con this fight is Caitlyn just gained untouched. So I need to like jump on her. I have exhaust too. Kinda start this. Got some shrooms to zone the area. Gonna save my builders here in case they try to do something. Hmm. Don't think we get much else here. Gonna go bot lane. Okay, not bad. Not bad. So, I am very strong here. Oh, does she want to try? I'll show you why I took exhaust this game, by the way. Okay, she's just a pussy. It's fine. But the thing is, this, this playstyle of like... Like, I don't have to do much there, but I kill. That felt a lot more weaker than I thought, though. But then again, she kind of had everything up to and just flashed. Actually, did she, did she flash there? <laughs> As always, I'm just, like, too hyper-focused and I just forget when I'm, like, tired. Is what it is, though. Okay, we'll grab this. I'm actually going to grab a Randoins third now because I'm countering half that team as well. Because I got a Randoins, I counter a crit Kate build and also this build that uh, Quinn's doing. So I'm actually getting so much value out of this item. And they did buff it too, this season. So it actually makes it even better as well. I'll just be completely unkillable. And after that point, I can get a Jack Show maybe. Or even Sterox for an aggressive item. While being able to have a burst of resist resistance. So, yeah. I think that's the play here, itemization-wise. Like, the thing is with Renekton, right? The way we play mid-game entirely depends on the comp and, like, our intentions, right? My team's lacking a front lane, and because they're lacking a front lane, if I can go these items, they're going to help me enable my team and allow me to tank a lot more damage for my team. It ends up just being, like, a free win at that point. Because I, I'm going to jump onto them. They have to, like, try and peel me off, but I'm going to take zero damage. Oh, this guy messed up. And he gets away again. <laughs> Damn, I never have the Fury. If I had my ult there too, it would have been a free kill. Ah, it's so sad. So lucky. This guy's so lucky. Oh, that was a really bad E. I didn't really account for my Fury though. I should do. Hmm. Just right there. What's the play here? They're all roaming towards me. Hmm. Oh, fuck me. Uh, they're so hard. They're all around us and bots not reacting either. It's kind of my bad though. I looked mid and then Quinn was just top lane. I didn't really see that. Auto pilot in that situation. It's all good though. I can have like... This has to be my last death. If I die again here, I think the game might be over. Because the game's so close in a way. I mean, it's not over, but the thing is, Siv is kind of useless. Caitlyn's getting more fed. At most, I give myself two deaths before I'm, like, irrelevant from the game. But, I don't know, like, the more I'm playing Strike Breaker, I'm kind of realizing that it's definitely a lot more weaker. I, I kind of wish it was, like, in the Mythic. Like, when it was, like, a Mythic. Because, I don't know, even the buffs this patch don't feel so noticeable right now. But again, I think my player style is just a bit janked up because I'm trying new runes. And my damage feels a bit lower than usual as well. And also, like, played into Kennen lane rather than Quinn itself. 
Okay, I think Vlad's just carrying the game. Maybe it's never over. I could side lane here and just push wave while we're like pushing mid, but I just want to be here just so I can, you know, be able, I can like enable our team to dive. Like even now, just because I'm here. I do that. I don't know what I'm doing here in my ult, I'll be honest. Can we dive though? We can dive. The team's not around though. Gonna like cut cut her off here. So if she dashes from me, she actually like um, comes backwards into my team. So it's like really good to uh, do that in these fights. I played like a bit of a moron, but I thought Quinn would just run me down. And she also gets like a ton of moon speed. I have dragon in 30. Maybe I don't do this actually. I need to reset and run to dragon because I'm gonna fuck my tempo up if I don't. Wait, what? What? <laughs> How did this guy get out though? What the fuck? No. How does that happen? What? I don't even see how that happens here. I'll be honest. Problem is, because Teemo's low and Vlad isn't on the map with us, it's really bad as well for the dragon situation. Yo, my fury management's fucking horrible this game, I ain't gonna lie. My fury management is just on another level right now. Like, what is this? Like, I keep using my E for, like, my empowered ability. This is a little bit bad, not gonna lie. And we can't do this now, either, because I have no sustain. And my ult's never up. Honestly, I think the biggest thing that I noticed right now, like, with just items and stuff, is, like... My cooldowns are just so long, it's hard to, like, play into fights as well. Like, right now, like, last season, I would have probably at least 50 or 60 haste, but I have, like, 23 cooldown reduction right now, and it's just... It's, it's so problematic just for fights. Because, like, you're punished even more for, like, little things like this, because now I come into this fight with no health, and also I didn't have ult that fight. If I had ult, i definitely just kill everyone, though. So yeah, it's, it's definitely, like, really noticeable the more I play. And this is why, like, Winnecton's win rate's also so low, in my opinion. Again, I don't have health here. This is really awkward. This is so awkward if I show with no health. I do have ult, so I do have, like, some invisible health in me. But yeah, I don't know. Do we go for this? They have... Sivir got caught, too. I don't know why she's mid. I need to back. But I also can't back because I have randoins and like a few more gold. Okay, well, <laughs> I think I'm useful. If she comes closer. This is a fight I don't want to be in, I'll be honest. Okay, well. I guess it works out, but this was just so messy. Like, I hate this fight, the way it was played. Is what it is, though. We get our randoins, I guess, from it. I think I really need to go a Sojin. Like, I can't really deal with, like, getting kited by their moon speed and just having all these, like, peels and stuff. I mean, this is, like, another reason why, like, Bruiser just kind of doesn't feel so great. Maybe just Renekton in general. I think the way they fix Renekton, unironically, is, like, they need to just, like, not lower his cooldowns, but just buff, buff items like Black Cleaver. Like, Black Cleaver gave 30 haste last season, and now it's just, like, completely useless. Like, I don't know, like, what it provides. Like, the build path's really bad for snowballing. It's just weaker, overall. Just a weaker item. Also, I W'd on accident there, if you're wondering, initially. Siva's going in when no one's around her. Well, I just don't know what he's thinking. Vlad needs to be bot. I mean, I can bot. But they want to do Baron. I guess... Oh, we need to make our minds up. I don't know what we're doing here. Like, we either do Baron or we just... I don't know. Do nothing. Fuck it. 
We have to go for this. If we just sit here, like, she's gonna take everything. Well, on the bright side, we get Baron here. Drop this. I have two slows now. Quinn cannot escape. She is not very happy about that. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, this build's definitely very good. Like, countering champs like Quinn. Or even, like, Caitlyn, if I get to fight. I think third item, I'd probably... I mean, fourth item, I'd probably rather want Static Gauge, like Ward's providing me. Maybe that's the best option here, but I just kind of want to test, like, having lower cooldowns. But I just don't think it's optimal here, to be quite honest. Hmm. Left for wave, push. I think it's a lot better if we just go bot lane here, instead of them pushing mid. Because, like, it's so easy just, like, I don't know, for them to defend... Well, we could just be using Baron a lot more effectively, pushing side lanes. That's what I'd say is the play here. Mm. Okay, there's just so much stuff going on here. Yeah, I don't know what, like, uh, I don't know what we're doing here, I'll be honest. <laughs> Our team comp can't really play into this. Oh, man. I'm just following the Fiesta, I'll be honest. I'm just kind of, like, going in for the Fiesta. But we end the game, I guess. It was probably, like, the most bronze play I ever made, but it works, I guess. I mean, this whole game is just, like, bronze made. Like, I don't know. Is what it is, though. Cannon really didn't do anything, though. Like, if Cannon, like... That's the thing with Cannon. I think a lot of the skill comes into, like, surviving lane. Trying to, like, poke your enemy as much as you can. React is a lot harder to do that these days. Oh, okay. Can she do it? Can she do it? No, she can't. But yeah, as I was saying, anyways. Like, the thing with Cannon is, like... The skill mainly comes in, like, how you play team fights as well. Mainly. So if you can like find those flanks, like TP in, like focus the carriers, like it's pretty good. Got some nice clips. I guess he's like a TikToker too. <laughs> Same. I think some of my aimless players walking in jungle just I don't know. Could be a play in itself. So how do we round off our build? We're gonna grab this and then probably the Jack Show, just so I'm like super tanky against all damage sources. I could get Sterex too, but I already have 4k health. Actually, that's crazy. I have 4k health right now. I also get 180 from the new rune as well. So, to be quite honest, it's not so bad. Okay. Oh, I don't, I don't land it, fortunately. Uh, we're dying, really? How is this, um... How is this happening? They're all running at me, but we don't get anything out of it. Like, Teemo should just go for end. Like, com like, come on. I don't know what this is. Like, this is so random here. Like, I get them all coming for me, but, you know... We should just be able to, like, flank as a team and, like, win, I guess. Oh no, please, get me out. Okay, thank god. That was so horrible to play. I don't know, it just feels like... Renekton's... Relevancy in the games at the moment feel really minimal, too. Like, usually it's like... Fine to deal with, but this just feels like... Super, super, like, meh. Overall. It's really weird. Uh, but yeah. Let's see. Where did I get placed, even? So I'm D4 on this account, 5 wins, 3 losses. I think I lost my first 3 games, and then I won, like, um, the rest. So pretty messed start, but it's okay. We're gonna get this towards Master Tier. 
But yeah, it wasn't my cleanest game, but I think the matchup still operates the same. Like, um, you know, you go D-Shield, second win, you go the Merc Treads, you know, you end up just like stat checking him, you win with ult, you time your EWs onto his E so he can't really escape you. Like, let me show you the, um, let's, let's go over the, the VOD real quickly, because I think it's very important to go over here. Be just to, like, visualize again, just like the last video, because I don't feel like I delivered the best, um, element of explaining it. And now that I'm out of the game, I can kind of tell you guys, like, what to do, right? So I'm going to cover, like, the first, like, start of the lane, and, like, uh, maybe till like, lane if is over. So here I'm just waiting... In another game, you probably want to get to lane first to see where he's going to start because Kennen could just come out of bush and start attacking you right away. There are some play styles where he'll take E level 1, comes out of bush, and just starts auto attacking you down. Because bot lane was already invading here, Kennen should be just already in the lane, but he seemed to be just under his tower. He's also like a diamond player, by the way. I mean, what was his, like, thing? Let's see. Seems like an ADC player. Master tier as well, last season. But yeah, so if we if we go into the lane, he, he used ward already. I go for the E start here. E start is super good because in another game I have ignite too. It's gonna help me get the level two kill. But because I didn't have ignite here, it ended up being really bad on my part. So I really thought it was Quinn, and this is like a really good strength to Quinn as well. Yeah, right now I'm just kind of like keeping my health, keeping my health up, using the second wind and D shield here. I'm gonna sit back. He does auto me, procs it again. He misses Q. He was really bad with his skill shots. Now, soon I'm going to turn level 2, and this is where I try and like, go for it all in as well. So off these minions, I'm going to get level 2 here. My Fury is a little bit skewered. I didn't get the best play here, but I get Empowered E. Auto W. Auto again. I'd be on minions here. Get his potion too. Really good. Now, if I get level 3 before him, and I had Ignite, it was 100% a kill with Flash. Just turns out I didn't really go my 5 other. Here I try and keep my health up a little bit. A little bit more difficult because has the Airy too and he's healing up. I can go for an EQ but he's slightly out of range. I think I'm looking for it. I think I did it here, didn't I? If I go into it. Gotta keep my health up. Last at this. I have my W now. Oh, not my W, sorry, Q. <laughs> my bad, it's very late. <clears throat> EQ, it's all I could do there. My problem right now with, like, lanes is, like, every time I'm in the situation, it feels super awkward and unnatural. And you really cannot do any plays whatsoever when the wall's here as well. It's a really, really big annoyance, like, into, like, trades and stuff like that now. So I'm kind of just forced to, like, come off. Team does invade. At this stage, I have no kill threat, so all I can do is just, like, reset the wave. And I feel like this season, Renekton's going to be in this situation a lot, you know? Into most of my matchups so far, I've basically been in the situation where... I'm waiting for a bounce, and it's just a lot slower than it used to be. But that's the thing. You have to be very patient. As, as like, painful as it is to be patient, it's, like, basically the play here. I can go for full wave reset and then, like, wait for bounce. I kind of want to do that, too, but I see Teemo fighting. I start walking first because I'm ahead. Looks like I'm not needed, so I go back to lane. I had no damage on my QI over this game. It's really awful. I think going D-Blade has been, like, really great, you know? And because I'm going D-Shield without, like, an extra AD rune as well. Adaptive, um, force. It feels really weak for push. So I'm in this, like, really weird predicament as well. But anyways, eventually I do get, like, the crash back onto me. So something I like to do is, like, EQW, auto, uh... Power W, then E out instantly. That's great. I did lo lose a lot of health. In this situation, I kind of misplayed. I think I misplayed here, my Fury, yeah. Like, I thought in a big minion wave here. It was just, like, completely dumb. And then he also, like, gets out on that sliver of health. I, I just misplayed overall. Like, like this could have been fine, but I just overcommitted too much. I was starting to get my Empower W. It's all about Empower W here, and he had Ghost. I feel like there's just a lot of unnatural things in this matchup. Like, he had Ghost. I had Exhaust. Like, it just didn't really... It just didn't really feel like a normal lane to me. Because usually, I take Ignite, and now take Teleports. But yeah. I also lost Vision here. That was really critical on why he lived. I should have warded the bush as well. Yeah, we go for one for one. To my, you know... <laughs> like, Fortune, I guess. You know, for my look. I get Merc Treads, I'll run back to lane. 
At this point, I'm about to get level 6. Again, like, even just the top side players and having team mode jungle, it was just a wild game. Like, it's so hard to, like, kind of go over what I'd actually do, like, consistently, like, against cannons, but being, being like it's my first matchup of the season and just, like, I don't know, there's all these weird-ass picks. Like, it's really hard to kind of simulate it, I guess, to you guys. So that's what I'm trying to explain it right now, too, like, what I'll do a bit, like, uh, what I'll do, like, a little bit differently. So, um... Probably saying the same words. <laughs> yeah, this stage, I'm just gonna like try and go for EQs. If he stands like next to me, I can like basically go for the all in EQ. I can get the W off then. But instead, I go for this combo. Not the worst, but not the best. I'm run back out. Gonna push a wave. I have ult. Ult guarantees me a dive. I go in here. Empowered E because Empowered E armor shred is pretty good here into Empowered W. But because he has stun and I have no tenacity, like not enough tenacity, he kind of gets away, but it's not the end of the world. I pop potion, go for push. Kennen ends up in tank here, really weird. And we got kill. Now I get playings and I just reset the lane. But in another game, I could go Hex Shrinker if they had more AP. So Kennen is literally like irrelevant. Because I didn't have like extra magic resist, the lane was a bit more, like a little bit more closer. And I think trying Stride Breaker too, like just made it so... I lacked a lot more AD. Before I was going like Eclipse Rush. Eclipse Rush is still pretty good if you want to do that. In, com in combination with Merc Treads as well. So you can do that. So every time he comes back in. A lot of them will do this where they go out and they come back in too. So that's where you get like a free E off. And you get like Auto W. At this point I tried to go for kill as well. Chasing him down with the MS Quint. Or not Quint sorry the uh, Rune. And Phage, run him down here. Fights me out a little bit. bit. Bit annoying. Very annoying, in fact. He also had Ghost up as well. It was really hard to play. And I have to just, like, settle for um, the roll instead. Ends up getting away here. Get a kill. But, yeah. Either way, I'm still kind of winning the lane from this. Once I got Stride Breaker, it was pretty much like a... It was kind of free. And it would be free, usually, as well, in the games. Here as well, I made a mistake. The problem here is that once we've got these kills, it's great, right? For a top laner, look, like 17 seconds, he has no TP. I can run top, push him wave, get plates, even take first tower, potentially. But I go for these, and I think this just was not worth it whatsoever. Like, this is probably, like, one of the worst decisions you could have made this game. And because, like, it kept resetting on us. Like, look at all the time spent, by the way. So we finished the fight at 11.04. 11.04, by the way. Perfect scenario. It takes me basically 30 seconds, and in that time, as I go up now, I get wave push, but Kennen gets back. So it took like a whole 40, like 45 seconds, basically, for, it to, for him to like get back to lane, and for me just to only push one wave and get Grubs. Yes, Grubs is like an international buff that helps everyone, but I could have made my lead up a lot bigger if I just went for tower here. Like, getting those like playings matter a lot more than just these, so... Yeah, I, I don't think that was worth, personally. And I advise you guys, too, in the similar situation, not to go for Grubs, though, because the gold is just more important for snowballing. Even the XP, too. I need to be dominating this matchup. Yeah, at this point, I push wave. Kennen doesn't know where I am. I try to, like, pretend that I'm not here. I dodge it. After that, like, Kennen gets a bit cocky. Stride Breaker here. WR. Auto Q. Gets out there. Like, he just had a really annoying playstyle. But again, that's fine. I'm getting all his summoners. He can't make a play in any team fights if he tries to roam. Like, it's actually, like, not bad, to be quite honest. So we get tower here. And basically, at that point, that's kind of like it. Like, every time I 1v1 cannon, I can kill if I play it properly. And if I have, like, enough space to do that. Again, I didn't play my best here. I probably played a bit more suboptimal than usual, but I'm, I'm trying to explain to you guys that the cannon lane is pretty easy as well. Uh, just under these things. As for runes too, I did take uh, like MS rune, like I told you. I took a uh, scaling health. And that's basically it. Nothing really else. Second wind is very helpful. PTA as well for fast trades. And that's basically it. But yeah, I thought I'd just go over the landing phase of you guys, try and give you guys like a bit of uh, insight too in how I could have done better. And what else I, you know, you guys can look out for in the matchups. Hopefully this, this like, helped you guys. But with that being said, though, 
thank you all for watching today um if you enjoyed the video make sure to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video peace out and have a good one